this is the reason the MH8 is here for this sort of comparison. Before you are all the Mark III's. The Fostex T20RP, T40RP, and the T50RP's. Now I already reviewed the T50RP's, and when I bought them, I was under this impression that uh, the T50's, obviously they're the best of the line, because these are just the 20's, and these are the 40's. Forget any of that number shit. They really shouldn't have even... We're the 30's, number one. Because 20, 40, 50, I guess doesn't even, that doesn't make any sense in any sort of thing because these are semi-open and I'll tell you you look at these grills back here on the 50s these are completely solid and these have like a, a mesh there take the 40s solid solid take the 20s solid very open mesh so my, just that Jackie Chan, my brain is full of fuck. These are identical headphones. The only change structurally, not even in the driver, I don't believe the driver is even touched or moved or calibrated. Top is always solid. This has got like a, a you could sort of see through it. It's like a semi, it's like a thick felt. It's like a felt. This is a thin mesh and this is just probably a piece of rubber or more plastic. So that's the difference in build between the semi-open, closed, and open 50, 40, 20. So you know what that means? It means that you really only need one and then an ability to swap that out. But Fostex saw the opportunity, I suppose, to make three. Now you know my thoughts on the 50s. And now that I've had the 40s and 20s for a couple weeks now, I can shed some light on this whole array. These are the treble cans, the 50s, the original 50s, the ones I love, the ones I fell in love with, the ones I spent all the money on, are the treble monsters of this lineup. I'm just popping them on my head. Uh, all the pads have been changed because you all know how shit the pancake pads are. And I've gone through my now getting vaster supply of pad choices. I got some ZMF stuff here. I got the angled brain waves. Actually, I got two sets of the angled brain waves. These are mounted onto the high fineman thing. I got the velours. I got the angled velours. These are actually the reason I'm using the red ones here and not these. Are, these are the NVX pads, which you can or cannot find them, and they're slightly smaller and they're definitely softer. And if I can't guarantee you find them, I can't test them on headphones. But uh, yeah, basically, I even bought a set of these, uh, the Bear Dynamics 770 ones, because, well, because why wouldn't I want to have a pair of those? Those are awesome. And after all the testing, all the pad rolling, I settled on the 1540s are still my choice for the T50s. If you could eventually get them, by all means. However, since I couldn't get an extra set, I got the 1840 pads, same shore pad. So these are the 1540, these are for the 1840. The 1840 is their open headphone. So it's not memory foam, it's just standard foam, but it is a beautifully soft velour, like nicer than the HM5 velour by a league, a full league. It's not that expensive. It comes with a stitched lining around the outside, so it just slides on perfectly. If you can't, if you want to buy any of these, or the T50s and the T20s at least, and you want to, you can't find the 1540 pads, the four, the 1840 pads. Good, good stuff. And on this, I'm using the standard HM5s. Now, on the 50s, when I put the bigger, thicker pads on, the treble got murderous. Remember that whole statement? Well. That changes when you change the openness because these are closed and I had them with the velour for a while and they were pretty good and then I put the closed on and it's like well they, they sound pretty good and now maintain the closedness and then I took the 20s here and I tried them with a few I actually put the 1540s on here 
for a while. Man, that's, they're good, they're good, but these are open. These are open. These are really open. Well, they're trying to be really open. Like you could actually see the triangle of the driver in there. So they wanted a little bit more open pads. The 1840 pads went on. None of these headphones are bad. There isn't one that's better than any other. And I apologize for when I did the T50 review and caused them to be sold out and everyone's... Now you've all got T50s. If you've got T50s, raise your hand. But if you don't have any of these, you now have a choice. Now I think if you own one, you don't really need to invest in all three. I'm just the crazy asshole that kind of has to. Let me explain where these all suit you. Here, T50s are still just put them on eargasm. Good bass, and then the treble comes in, and the treble, the little added accentuated treble, is really what brings like oh, the the, uh, the imaging just so clean. So then you pull out the T20s. And if I'm going out for a walk and I'm taking my SAP7 or, or my uh, one of my koans, I take the T20s. These have the bass. Like a legitimate amount more than the 50s. They also cut down the shrillness of the highs a little bit. Just, just a touch. So, if you're okay with solid highs, and you'll know if, I, I don't have to tell you if you're treble sensitive, but if you are, the T50s maybe just back away from them for a second. And step into the T20s. Wear them for a bit. They have DAT low end with DAT. They have the ghetto amount. And it is wonderful. Do they sound more open? Well, when you put them on, you could still hear people speaking to you. Which is kind of why I like wearing these outdoors. If I'm, you know, walking through a supermarket or something, I could still hear when someone says, hey, your shit's on fire. I could hear that. I kind of want to hear that. When I put on really close headphones, I mean, even if there's a little bit of sound leak, I could give a shit. Oh, that low end. And the imaging is still... See, we're still dealing with planar here. There's nothing in this lineup that's going to be like, oh, well, this one's obviously a failed attempt. So these are the treble cans. These are the base cans. What the hell are these? Well, these are the closed. They have the least base. And not the least treble. They have probably closer to the T50 treble. And frankly, if you need to sit on a subway next to someone and you don't want it to leak anything, these might be yours. These are sort of the odd man out of the group because T50s, A number one. T20s now, oof, bass. Oof, like that sound comes out, bass. And then T40s with these pads, and it might just be the pads throwing me off because they're still a little thick. Let me crush them down a little bit. They're still good. They almost sound the flattest of the three. Like, we've got a, a definite bass exaggeration here on the 20s. And we've got a treble accentuation on the 50s. And then these, these just sound, these might be the actual monitoring cans you're looking for. I love, I, I love all three of them. I, I don't hate any of them. I'm trying to think of the use for the clothes is just, you know, monitoring. That's why you get closed headphones in the first place. That's why the Shores exist and the goddamn Audio-Technica's closed. Now, you'll see I'm using, I'm not using any of those stupid wires I came with. I bought, I have almost every color of V-Motor cable. Uh, black is still sold out. But I have gray, red, purple. Gray, red, purple. That's all I have. I have gray, red, and purple. And another gray. That's a borrow. Yes. So as soon as I get black, I'll have four individual colored wires, and then maybe I can find an orange. And obviously you wouldn't get these in red, unless you want to look like Ronald McDonald. I'm just using them as a test. It's so close. There's, there's enough of a difference here to be like, oh wow, you know, these are definitely different headphones. But would you spend 130 something dollars 
on a second set just to make that grill there slightly more transparent. Feel free to open these up and modify them. I wish that they had like a little slider here that just slid that from closed to semi-closed to open. They don't have it. If they did, it'd be worth a fortune. Now, a couple other modifications I've got onto these. Someone actually contacted me and said, hey, I have an extra Mr. Speaker's like alpha dog comfort strap. And sure enough, it comes with the little screws and just strap it in there like that. And the guy who makes the Argons, the Argon strap is made of uh, deer skin, which is super hard to deal with. And his wife's actually been sewing them together. And he sent me one for the Argons and then one to try it on the Mark III's. And here it is. And this is fucking amazing. So, the 20s, because I take them out, got the comfort strap. And the 50s got it because I owe the 50s a lot. 40s, on the other hand, I didn't put anything on. I had to choose where to put that. I put it on that one instead of this. So I... These are probably the most boring, but they're still so good. So there it is. I'm sure the T20s now will sell out, and the 1840 pads will sell out. And you'll either be going to Mr. Speakers for his leather strap, or Talon 64 for his deer skin sewn together by his wife's strap and then you're all gonna buy v-motor cables they're all equally as hard to drive by the way what do i got going on here ah oh. Forward vocals, recessed vocals, right in the middle. It's so weird, it's so weird. Cause you go from closed to open and then you get to semi-closed and it's like a mixture of all the worlds. These are the most bass, these are the least bass, so right in the middle. Vocal, vocal depth, imaging, God, this is a terrible review, I'm sorry, sorry I've made it. Cause all you're really finding out is that should you not be able to get T50s, you can still get T20s or T40s. Wait, oh God, I'm confused. If you can't get T50s, you can still get T40s and T20s and be absolutely satisfied, period. I mean, I'm gonna do a sound demo now. It's gonna come up. I'm gonna keep the modified pads on it because I just fucked those new pads. Those original pads are garbage. And I will probably do like three songs, like maybe four, four songs on repeat. Four songs with this, I'll swap the recorder rig out, four songs on this, four songs on this, and then if you look in the description or in a comment, someone will have the time so you can jump and listen to the different factors. I'm not 100% sure it's gonna come across, but I'm 81% sure it'll come across, and that's pretty good. Now there's a new line from Fostex that uses dynamic drivers and not planar which should take care of the efficiency and the efficiency and also the efficiency so you'd actually be able to use them and I might pick those up and I might if you visit Patreon as you watch this video I might sell one of these pair I probably gonna sell the 40s but I might sell the 20s and the 40s and just keep the 50s I don't know I don't know I'm putting myself in a tight spot in the future I see that happening but anyway Patreon link in the corner, wallpaper link in the description along with the links to buy all this stuff, and uh, also sound demo links down there. None of these are bad. None of these are bad. You just gotta pick treble, bass, both, or new none. None? I don't want to make the T40s out to sound like they're the boring one. They're not. They're not. You'd pick these up and be absolutely satisfied. Tell us if you're coming. Where I'll compare.